everyone. Today I am going to explain about dicot and monocotyledon seeds. Dicot seed. Dicot seed has two cotyledons. Cotyledon means seed leaf which prepares food for the embryo. It has two cotyledons means it will divide into two halves. Best example is cashew nut. Cashew nut. See it was like this and I divided into two halves. See. This is a dicot seed. It has two seed leaves. This is the seed leaf. Okay. See. Okay. Now I will explain how a dicotyledon plant's leaf will be. It will be having netted veins. Here one vein and the sides other veins and from that side veins other veins will come. Like this, a dicotyledon plant's leaf will be. I will show with an example. This is a bitter gourd. Bitter gourd leaf. This is. I have took a bitter gourd leaf. It has netted veins. See here one vein. Here one vein. Middle one vein. And the sides one vein. And from that other veins. It has netted like structures. It has netted veins. Like net no? Net like structure it will be. The leaves. Okay. Now I will show how a dicotyledon plant's roots will be. It has a taproot system. Taproot means it has a primary root, secondary roots and tertiary roots. Taproots penetrate deep into the soil. Penetrate means going into. Going deep into. It's called penetrate. See this is an example which I have took a plant here. See. Very clearly we can see in this taproot system. This is the primary root and from this secondary roots are arising and from this tertiary roots are arising. Here. The small small roots are called tertiary roots. The small small tertiary roots arise from this secondary roots and this secondary roots arise from this long main root called as a primary root. Now I will explain about monocotyledon seed. Monocotyledon seed we, 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 can, we cannot divide it into two halves because it has only single cotyledon. It has only single seed leaf. I will show an example. This is a rice. Rice is a monocotyledon seed. See clearly. We can't divide it into two halves. Okay. See if I try also. What will happen means. If I try also it will broke. And I, I can't do it. It is a because it is a monocotyledon. Now I will say how a monocotyledon plant leaf will be. How the leaf will be means. It doesn't simply, it's, um, it will be some veins, but it will not have netted like structure. This is a goa. Goa is also a um, uh, monocot seed. Goa seed. So it has, see, simply veins. Middle one vein and sides one vein. It don't have netted like structure. Here one vein, here one vein, like that and all, it don't have. Now I will show, I will explain how a monocotyledon plant's root will be. It has a fibrous root system. What fibrous root system will be means? Simply at the end of the stem a bunch of roots arise. It will not have a tap root system. It will not have primary, secondary and tertiary roots. Simply a bush like structure, a bunch of roots arise at the end of the stem. From the end of the stem. See grass. Grass is the best example of a mono, of a fibrous root system. Okay. Now I will compare these two roots. See. This is a tap root. And this is the fibrous root. See how the tap root is. How long it penetrates into the soil. But. See, it has secondary roots and tertiary roots also. 
but this uh, grass don't has that end all. It has a bunch of roots. Today we learned about. Today I explained about dicotyledon seed and monocotyledon seed. Dicotyledon plants leaves and monocotyledon plants leaves. And dicotyledon seed, dicotyledon plants root and monocotyledon plants roots. That's all for today's session. Thank you.